Guys, just cracked the plug, got an awesome signal here. It's solid 80, a little bit to the 79, but back to the 80, solid 80. Um, I'll just show you here. I don't know why I dig it for the most part and just see what it is. This is like a really hard to get to place. You got the old um, wood post right here. And uh, just around the corner here, this bend where the inlet comes in uh, to the right there. I had uh, found a, my oldest coin yet, uh, 1711 Carlos. Uh, I believe it might have been the Carlos II. Yeah, it wasn't a silver coin, though. It was a copper coin. Um, I don't know what this is here. Hopefully something good. I wish I had a pinpoint, though. Makes it a lot easier. A lot less shaking on the camera. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I guess it's in the clump. Oh, it's in the clump. Gotta love it when it's in the clump. Let's see here. Get real close here. beautiful Let's see what it oh oh okay it's not a silver Let's see what it is what the hold on a second here try to get this thing to focus oh man barely beat up though what is that really weird markings on it i am i mean i am by the water oh it's a it's a lincoln Got to think optimistic here, though. Gonna keep going. Hopefully, find something good here. Let me at least see if it's a wee penny, though. Uh, use the fingernail. I want to go this way, man. Not this way. You want to go that way, so you don't get the, as I just did it the wrong way. Oops. So you don't get the crud underneath the nail, you know. Then the wife gets mad at you. All right, it looks really badly uh, worn here. I can't even see if there's a wheat. Um, but I'll clean it up after so you guys can wrap up on this, uh, this coin. Well there, it looks like. And, um, uh, just popped out and I just seen the edge of it. Thought it might have been a copper of some sort, but it looks like a, um, it looks like a flat button. Oops. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Looks like a flat button. I'm gonna get some sunlight on it. Whatever I got here. Um, yeah, it's just barely crushed. Cool little flat button, though. I don't think there's a marking on it. Um, let's see. Let's see here real quick. <laughs> nah, it looks pretty beat up. Been through a lot in life. And, uh, yeah, the shank's there. That's the shank right there, but it's just mushed over and smashed real hard. It looks like I do see, um, some writing around here, so. Alright, I'll clean up after. Limited, uh, sunlight over there. Almost done. I gotta go all the way back around this, and then go back around the other side. And then another half mile that way. <laughs> All right, get back to you guys. Get something else. Sweet, I'll take it. I just got a good signal here. I just got a uh, 1960 um, Lincoln Penny right there. I'm in a, uh, I'm on the North Shore in a uh, harbor, and I just decided, you know what? When I got a coin there, you know, it's only a 1960. I went that way, checked, and then I went straight up. I always go, you know, horizontal when I get a signal, just to check both ways, and then I continue that way or whatever way I'm going. Just to see if there's anything that was dropped, maybe like a situation or like an event. Um, you know, I got left and right basically, and I feel good about the area, then I can move on. But uh, I just went right, I didn't get nothing. I went left, came back up here, and you can see it right there in the hole. Well, it was right there. I saw it, as soon as I saw it, I just dropped it and uh, just put it down. It looks like a small. Sorry, guys, I need to focus. Looks like a small ring. Why is she not focusing? Let's see. There, oh, there it is. Look at that thing. Look at that design on there. Wow. That is really cool. Let me see if there's a marking on the inside. I didn't check. <laughs> uh, I don't think I see anything. It look, oh. Yeah, this has definitely got to be sterling. I just, uh, I don't see any marking on the inside right now I have to get back to you guys let me clean it up I'll get back to you guys let you know what it is oh sweet I literally this is probably the fifth signal and it's turning out great I'm gonna keep going the sun's going down but I got my headlamp with me today so all right get back to you on the next signal it's been a while I'm going along the beach here and buy like an old uh, mill right over there 
and uh, finally got a good signal and uh, it looks like it's gonna be a wheat penny Let me take it out and see yep awesome uh, I'll take this because I've been going for a long time not finding nothing and uh, oh it's it's only a 1944 but I'll take it uh, it's something I'm getting a lot of nails around here I think the like the old rivets from the docks, the old docks back in the day, like turn of the century, and uh, a lot of cool pottery. I'll take a look. I'll take a look at this stuff. All over the place here. Hmm. Interesting stuff, though. Oh, it is more of it right here. And uh, let me put this down. Actually, I'll take out of my pocket what I got. I find a lot of these things here, like the old, I guess, old stakes or something. Don't chewed up. A lot of times when I'm on the beach. I can go past an area here, and if there's all all these like spikes and nails, if I collect them all and throw them to the side, and then I go over the area again, I can find those perfect, those great sounding signals. So, uh, just a piece of advice: if you can uh, take the time to clean up the area, and then go past it again. If you don't find nothing the first time, clean it up, and you'll be surprised. It just uh, clears up that signal a lot of times, and uh, you can pull something out, even a wheat or anything. Whew. Take it, man. Oh, beautiful day out. It's 71 degrees out. I'm, I'm sweating here, but I'll take it though. Take it over the cold. All right. Get back. Got a guys. really good signal here, but unfortunately, it's a piece of aluminum. So, just filled in the hole, and uh, happen to look up, and I see it right there, right on the surface, right there. I'm gonna take a look at it right now. I didn't even walk over to it, so we're gonna look at it together. Maybe something good. Maybe something good. Yeah. What do we got? Uh, all right, it's Jefferson. I don't think it's uh, even a war period nickel because it doesn't really have that silvery kind of look to it. Uh, wow, it's weird. I'm finding, other than the one wheat penny that was in 1944, I'm finding, I found three memorial, uh, memorials, yeah, memorial pennies uh, that were 1974. And now I got a nickel here in 1974. So I guess 1974 was a prime time period for uh, hanging out here. All right, I'll get back to you if I find something else good. Next signal here, popped out of the hole. Turned out to be a one ounce lead sinker weight. Nothing special, but I'll take it. Add it to my uh, pickle jar full of singers. Sweet. All right, tide's coming in, so I'm limited. Uh, it's kind of forcing me up the bank here, so. All right, I gotta keep going. Hopefully find something good before uh, Ty yeah, comes back to my truck. Get back. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let me do a little bit in the weeds here. Cause a lot of times I like to grab the seaweed and just grip, push it up. And, oh my like, what was that noise? The wind. <laughs> and uh, push it up and do the surface underneath there that usually hasn't been detected a lot of times. And um, I'm right on the edge of it though, right here. And I had to move a lot of these rocks and I can see the uh, roundness of the coinage right in the sidewall here i'm gonna extract it and let's see what it is together here what do we got all right it's our friend mr lincoln is it a wheat oh it's a wheat ah so we are talking 1958 to 1909 i'll take it ah what do we got here i'm excited it's been a while again Especially when I was just about to walk up the trail and say, all right, I did it enough. Again, guys, do around the edge of these, uh, the beach and the seaweed here or up in the seaweed. Just clear that up. You can get to a lot of places where no one else actually bothered to go. All right, so what, let's see what this is. Oh, 46. Very common year. But I'll take it. Sweet. Got that. I just got that wheat penny right there. And uh, I'm going along again, the seaweed and the sand on the beach. And I just got another tone, beautiful tone signal here. And uh, oh, where is it? There it is. What the? Oh. Thought the fish were jumping. About to get the pole in the back of the pickup. Uh, and once again, I lost it. Where are you? Oh, here it is. All right. It looks like a um. Looks like maybe a piece of a musket because it actually has roundage to it. If you can kind of see, you see the, the dome is right there. It looks like it might be part of a musket ball that uh, broke off, smashed into something pretty hard. Yeah, look at that.
Nice. I don't know, you guys tell me. I'm thinking musket. This harbor here has been really known for producing my most, uh, most of my musket balls. I mean, the big ones to the small ones to the mini balls. So it's known for it. North Shore, gotta love this North Shore. All right, get back to you guys. Right, guys. Signal. I've been going for a while now. It's uh, a lot darker than I think you saw me before. Um, probably walked about another half mile and I uh, got a nice high tone, 89, 90 signal. And I was right on the surface here. Doesn't look like too crazy. I didn't move it yet. This is actually where it was. Um, wow. This is like turning out to be, I was looking for coins, but you know, we detectorists, we'll take anything. Ring, coins. It actually looks silver because, um, like I've said in my past videos, silver on the beach or salt water usually turns like a purplish color. I see like a purple there. Um, again, it looks like a child's ring. Um, let me see if there's anything, uh, any markings that I can see. It's got to be silver, though. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, I'm looking through the phone. I don't really see. No, oh, wait. Oh, oh, boop, boop, boop. What do we got? Ah, oh, shoot. Come on. Oh. Yeah, there's something in there, but I'm going to have to get back to you guys with the wrap-up after I clean it up. Great, another ring. I'll take it. This one might fit me though, it's pretty big. A little bit bigger than the other one. All right, hey, look at this rock here. It's got like a face. Anyway, interesting. Get back to you guys in the next find. Great. What's up guys, just got back from the beach hunt. I wanna do a quick wrap up on everything that I found here. Um, these are basically the three iron stakes spikes that I found. Um, I like keeping them like this, they look very interesting. You know, very unique. Um, whether they belong to a ship deck, they were used in a, on a ship deck to hold the, uh, the deck down or put it together, or even a dock. I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys can help me out in the chat. Um, let me skip past this section and go right over here first because that's probably the best section of the day uh, to collect. This is just a clad 1974. Um, 1974 again. Then there's a nickel I know is 1974 here. Um, then these other ones are, I think, in this, this is 1970 and a 70-something, too. And then, um, I got a flat button here. Uh, let's see. It normally has, like, an eagle on the top there, but this is not an eagle this time. I see on the bottom it says guilt, and then it has, like, a two stars on the right, two stars on the left, and it has some type of decorative symbol. Not too sure what that means or what it might be time period. You guys can help me out. Um, this is, I didn't get it on the video. I thought it was recording. It, it did, but I don't know where the video went. Um, but it's a, it says JR on it. It's a bail seal. Normally you see like little iron spikes, or not spikes, but like uh, iron remnants coming through the side here where the wire would normally come through and it would be strapped to whatever package they were shipping out. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the letters indicate where it was coming from and then maybe on the other side it showed where it was going. Again, correct me if I'm wrong though. Uh, I'll take it though, that's interesting find. Um, shotgun shell, the head stamp though, I'll take it. Got a little pickle jar full of those. Uh, this is a great find though right here. This is a piece of a musket ball. I really feel like that's what it is. Um, because in that harbor where I was today, I found a lot of those musket balls, but complete dropped ones, uh, which I'm going to be doing a wrap up video on everything that I had found over the last seven years. Oh man, it's a lot of great stuff, guys. I'm going to get that video out real, real soon so you guys can watch it. <coughs> and uh, lead sinker, one ounce. I'll take it. Probably use to go fishing as yet. Got just a random little copper ring here. Not too sure what that is, but it might be two. Um, lead bullet. Doesn't look too old. These are those things that I believe were rivets of some sort um, that were to a dock. I noticed when I hit a good spot where I find coins in the 17, 1800s or even early 1900s, I find these there too. Or I'll find these before the coins or vice versa. So again, you guys let me know what you think, what these are. Um, I feel like they might be pieces to an old dock, what kind of held the dock together. They're actually square too. Like a square nail would be. 
though this would be a smaller one here i don't know you let me know and uh yep shows you the iron spikes these are the wheat pennies that i found it's a 1944 very common year the 44 probably the most common that i at least have in my collection then it comes to 46 and then of course yes the uh, second most common to me 46 wheat penny i'll take it uh awesome finds here can't complain this turned out to be it is silver though it's got the purple to it whenever uh, silver is in the salt water there is the pattern there it's still you know as i gotta soak this in like a silver cleaner because it's it says sterling there i don't know if you can see it it's really hard i gotta clean it up on the inside um this also has a sterling symbol on the inside silver ring kids ring both kids rings uh again i'll have to get a final picture and show you guys it's it's in there somewhere i'm shaking <laughs> uh, there's some symbol there i think oh right there right over here you see the S-T-E-R kind of to it. And the light hits it just right. So, all in all, it was a great hunt, though. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll have more hunts for the future. All right, get back to you guys on, uh, on the next hunt. Later.